Hello, welcome to the channel, Family DIY TV. Today, we're gonna show you how to remove wrinkles out of your pool liner with simple tools, and it's a pretty easy process that I think anybody can do. Please stay tuned, and let's do this. Okay, so for this process to work, the first step is really to use patience. You cannot rush this now you're because you're dealing with a pool liner. Um, you don't want to damage it. So this is a very um, a tedious process, but it really doesn't take that long. The wrinkles you see here took about 10 minutes per wrinkle uh, to get out. And it wasn't bad. I was swimming in a pool, removing the wrinkles. So it's really not that big of a deal, but again, First step is take your time. Okay, next thing we want to consider is when should we do this? All right, we want to do this when the water in our pool is warm. So I did it when my pool water was around 91 degrees. I figured it was at the probably the hottest it's been all year. Um, and that's the day I decided to do it. Okay, you don't want to do this when the water is really cold. You want to do this when it's warm for obvious reasons. Rubber is a lot more pliable, a lot more workable when it's warm. So let's do this on a warm day. Now the tools you need to do this is, they're very simple. Uh, you need a pair of water shoes or uh, a pair of sneakers that have soft soles that are clean, obviously. We don't want any rocks or anything stuck in them. And you need a plunger. I purchased a brand new plunger. You don't want to use it, obviously use a, um, a used plunger. You want to buy a brand new plunger. Uh, Three dollars from Home Depot. That's all this cost me. So they're the two things you need. Okay, now before we start messing with these wrinkles, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna assess the wrinkles. You wanna kinda of see what caused the wrinkles. Mine were pretty straightforward. I could tell it was from people jumping off the wall into the pool and then kind of landing with their feet and actually pulling the liner away from the wall, okay? So this is a clear indication to me that I needed to actually push the liner back against the wall, okay? So that's the first thing you wanna do is look at the wrinkles and try to figure out what's the deal? Like, where did they come from? What caused them? And which way do you need to move the liner or to manipulate the liner to remove the wrinkles? Probably you'll see it's because the liner was pulled away from the wall. So what we do to remove the wrinkles is we actually use the plunger and we put the plunger on the side of the wrinkle that we wanna pull it, right? So I put mine between the wall and the wrinkle, okay? And I started putting the plunger on the liner, picking it up just slightly, and then pushing it towards the wall, okay? You're gonna see me do that here, okay? I did this a bunch. I, of course, took my time, okay? You don't wanna just lift it up and, and really, you wanna move this wrinkle out a little bit at a time, okay? And we did that over and over and over again, okay? Then what you do is you use those shoes, those rubber shoes that you have, and you kind of kick the liner, again, the same in the same area that you put the plunger, that's where you kick. You're trying to kick, slightly kick the liner back into the corner, okay? Now you're not kicking it in a corner, you're kicking it at the you know, close to the actual wrinkle itself, okay? And you're just basically trying to stretch that liner back out, all right? So we're gonna keep alternating between the plunger and kicking, plunger and kicking a little bit at a time. We don't wanna get too aggressive here, okay? Then what you do when you get, you can almost see the wrinkles disappearing in front of your eyes. Then what you could do is you can actually run your hand over the wrinkle and kind of push it down, all right? And this will basically help as well um, flatten that wrinkle out, okay? Like I said, each one of these wrinkles took me about 10 minutes to get out. I had about five different wrinkles in my pool in different areas after a pretty aggressive 4th of July party. Um, but they came out with really no issue. Um, I was pretty worried about them at first, but this was a very good process. I was actually kind of uh, very surprised that it worked as well as it did, okay? There's no uh, damage done to the liner. The liner looks like brand new in the area that the, the wrinkles were in. Um, but again, take your time, 
use your shoes to kick the liner a little bit and to, to kind of flatten out that. When you get to that point, then you can start pushing it down with your hand. You'll see that. And the liner will eventually flatten out. Okay. Now I really hope that this helped you. It will work for you if it's these small wrinkles like this and it's not like a water issue. I mean, obviously if you have water coming up underneath, you have another issue. This is not for that. That's just, this is just for when the liner gets pulled. Okay. But I hope this helped you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button on my channel. That really helps me. Okay. And I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you and get out there and get those wrinkles out of your pool. Thank you.